Here in E and F, they're giving us the limit of a, an absolute value function. And remember, we must convert that to a piecewise function first. So let's say f of x equals absolute value of x minus 2 over x minus 2. And that is x minus 2 over x minus 2, which is 1. And that's when x minus 2 is greater than or equal to 0, or when x is greater than or equal to 2. And it's negative x minus 2 over x minus 2, which is negative 1, for x less than 2. So now that we have these pieces, we can evaluate the limit much quicker. So the first limit for E is the limit as x approaches 2 from the left. Um, so that's going to be using the piece less than 2, which is negative 1. Now for part f, we want the limit as x approaches 2 from the right of f of x. That's for everything greater than or equal to 2, which is the top piece, which is positive 1. So then we know that the overall limit as x approaches 2 does not exist for this function.